I was born in Rome, 1949. I have a, a classical education in school, so I studied Greek and Latin, and uh, I went to university, I, um, uh, architecture. Uh, during the 70s, I traveled a lot throughout the world, and in uh, 76, I started making drawings. And those drawings uh, became a book. The book is the Codex Serafinianus. So that's the beginning of the history of my work. It's a long um, journey of my, my book throughout the world because I've been little by little in several countries. I don't want to keep any mystery about the Codex because it's a, it's a simple work of art. And uh, art is mysterious for the reason we, we mentioned, and it's very difficult to, to understand what is art. But uh, when there is art, we understand uh, that there is art. Because art is a, is a fact. I mean, when there is art, we can experience, we can see, we can touch, uh, but we don't know how to, how to justify or how to explain. There is no mystery. I mean, the mystery is the art. What, what is art? Not a book because uh, there is no uh, hidden message or uh, uh, something to decode. There are other aspects, the, the beauty, the relationship between images and writing. We know how uh, children are, they grow up imitating the adults. They see the adults reading and uh, seeing images and, uh, and connecting images with uh, written words. And so, the imitation creates stories, uh, novels. So the codex it's um, it's very easy because, like other other books, uh, they cannot read. So they, they take the the codex like a, a normal book. So they they create stories. And it's kind of attempt to make uh, the adults uh, like uh, like children to make the adults illiterate. Uh, not uh, just the word an alphabet, not able to read. So they have to exercise their imagination again another time. So it's another chance for the adults to, to go back to the golden age of uh, the childhood, just before uh, going to school, for instance, my favorite age. There is a sympathy for a person with talking about animals. Everybody has a sympathy for animals. I like very much birds. I like deers. The beauty of deers is such, fascinates me. Uh, and the, the lightness of, of the birds. As always, when I was a child, I was fascinated by birds. And I spent a lot of time just in the, in the woods, looking for the nest of the birds. Uh, trying to understand the different uh, languages of the birds. So birds are certainly very important in my uh, vision. At the same time, I'm fascinated by funny technology or um, technology which is useful for small things. Everything which is, in a way, domestic, we can encounter easily in our lives. We are surrounded by wonderful things. What is important is that we have to always to improve our capability of uh, looking through uh, reality, what is around us. When I was working, I really didn't know why I was doing that, because uh, there, I, I, tried to, um, I tried to figure out after, to, to imagine afterwards why I did it. This is the eighth edition of the Codex because the time changes. Like uh, you know, the encyclopedia and the Codex, you have to add uh, something to renew the, the, the book. And even the edition, the last edition, the eighth edition, I added a new chapter. So the idea that every five, six years I could add a chapter, and maybe uh, even in the future, I would uh, imagine as an open work which can be continued by other artists in the future and uh, so maybe for two or three centuries. <laughs>